Hey guys, what's up? Steve here. Um, so, decided I would share another pattern with you guys. This one is totally original. Mine that I made up as I went. I actually made this pattern for a female angler friend of mine. Um, she fishes in tournaments and stuff and she said that she would like to try one of my lures out. And I made this pattern for her when I first started it. I call it the Purple Crush. Something like that. I don't know. I forget. It's named on my page Purple Something. Um, it consists of opaque paints. Create text, of course. Purple, blue, light blue, two different color of purples. Um, First color that we are going to start out with is a pearlized gold. It's actually called pearl satin, um, but it's a gold color. Um, it's by Createx, as you see. It's pearlized, and we're going to give uh, these baits a whole coat <laughs> of gold everywhere except for the belly. We're going to need quite a bit here. I'm going to reduce this down because it's a little bit thicker because it's pearl. That should be 20. So on to painting. All we're going to do here is we're just going to give these uh, baits a coat except for the belly area. I really don't like the way this clear uh, white coat looks on this. Okay. Hopefully we the coats and in between all the other paints clears it up. Now with this uh, paint here, nice clear, not clear, nice even thin coats works best. Get this stuff on too thick, it'll just start running off. Blow dryer. So there's the first coat of gold. You want it. A lot thicker than that, so it's going to take another coat or two. Now on this coat, you can go a little bit slower, apply more paint. There's the second coat. You can see the difference in between the coats here. I just want it a little bit more thick. I can still see the white through it, so that's not good to me. I want this to be solid. So There's the third coat, as you can see. That's uh, pretty solid now. That's what I was looking for. So there's that. Now I'm going to do the other one the same color. Same thing. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I got the gold done. Um, now it's time to show you why you did gold first. It's the darkest color. Well, I guess purple is darker. But we did gold because, as you see, I got the shower loofah on. We're going to be doing scale patterns. And the scale pattern I want, I want it to be gold. Um, so now what, what we're going to do here is we're going to use a, a light purple opaque lilac. Lilac is what it's called. Um, and this is going to be a 
the mid body section is going to go dark purple on top to the lilac purple, light purple, and then baby blue on the bottom. So when you're doing a scale pattern with this shower loofah, make sure that you have your alligator clips on tight. Like this one, you can actually use some adjusting as I'm telling you guys. Make sure that you have this on tight because if you don't and this moves, especially if you're spraying different colors, putting the picking the bait up and putting it back down and stuff, you can move this and then your scale pattern will be out of whack. Uh, so make sure that you got that on fairly tight so it doesn't move too much on you. Okay. Now I'm using opaque here because I, I have to cover up this uh, gold. If I use transparent, then it just takes so many coats. So I'm going with the opaque. Um, just trying to get a visual in my head. That came out pretty fast. So I got both uh, baits sprayed with the light purple. Now we're going to go with the dark purple here. Uh, and this is just opaque purple. No special name, not lilac, none of that stuff. I won't need as much because it's darker, should cover more. Now the way I did this the first time is with the dark purple I made like a arc and so it looked a little bit better. Um, let's see. I kind of arced it into the uh, gill plate so it arced from the tail up and over and into the gill plate so I'll probably do that again. Something like that. That's my little outline. Um, let's see if I can get in here and pass this little clip. Sorry if you guys can hear me breathing. My nose is like right on this camera. Clear this up just a little bit better. I'm gonna do the other one, then I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. We got both all done with both purples. Time to unmask them. See how well they turned out, even with the little slips. Happened on both of them. Even after I warned you guys, you know, everybody makes mistakes though. This is how you learn. I'm still learning. I'm not a pro by any means at all. Um, I don't even think I've painted a hundred baits fully yet. Alright, so 
take this off and see how she looks. Not too bad. Moved around, but it came out good. Let's take this one apart here. I need to invest in a few more alligator clips. It always seems like I'm one or two short when I'm doing two baits. I mean, I have a whole bunch here. Probably at least a dozen or so, but sometimes you just have to use more clips on one bait just to get it right. Okay. Okay. Let me show you something here. On the back here, this one didn't turn out too bad either. Um, except for here on the back, you can see that it's a little uh, dark. But that's okay because I'll show you what I'm going to do right now. I'm actually going to darken up the back so the scale pattern is not so uh, blingy there. I'm going to keep the sides uh, the same though. So this is a... Uh, get the nose all colored in. Tail as well because I haven't touched the tails. And then just a light coat across the top. And all that does is just uh, make that scale pattern a little bit duller. That's it. Uh, you can do that across the sides as well if you wanted to, but uh, I, I like the sides to bling a lot more than the top. Okay guys, so the next color is going to be this light blue by Create Text, uh, Opaque Sky Blue. And this is going to be the bellies. Um, this is a lot thinner than the other colors well. Good. So like I said, I'm using opaque paints here to cover up uh, the gold. And as you see on this one, there's a gold line underneath the purple. So So there's that one. Let's get the bottom of this one. And I'll be back. Okay, so I got the blues done on the bellies. What I'm going to show you real quick is how I clean out my airbrush in between colors. Uh, first off, let me say that I only use a couple drops in my air gun at a time. Because we're painting small lures. I mean, there's nothing huge, so you don't need that much paint. So the less paint that you use, the less that you have to clean out. Um, you'll get the hang of how much you should use uh, according to what you're spraying, what part of the bait you're spraying or whatever. You know, if you're just painting a little circle, then you only need like one drop at the most. Um, anyway, so what I do is I always have a box of Q-tips right here, right next to me. Um, as you see, I just got them spraying blue. There's blue in there. What I do is I spray out all the excess until it stops spraying out. As you see, I did that already. Take the Q-tip and I get out as much paint as I can. Just like that. And then I have cleaning solution here. Actually, this is just water in here. I'm just spray in the water. And I take the Q-tip around and mix the paint into the water. Just like you would do as if you were reducing your paint. And then I spray that right out onto the napkin. Yep. And you 
see the majority of the paints out. Um, now I take another Q-tip in there, go all around, pull pull your needle back, so you get both ends of the needle, spray that, put a little bit more water in, new Q-tip, spread that around. Now, virtually there's no paint in there. There's still a little inside the nozzle and everything, so I just put one drop of water in there, spray it. If it still comes out blue on the napkin, I just put another drop in. Just one little drop of water. Just like that. And I'll do that a few times until it comes out clear, which right now it's all clear. So that's that. Take my finger and or a napkin and or a dry Q-tip and I dry out my cup. Now the only problem that I've ever had with doing it this way, I don't know how anybody else does it because there's no YouTube videos up showing people cleaning the brush except for a full clean which is a little bit different. Um, um, the only problem that I've had with this is every once in a while um, the fibers that are on the Q-tip will get stuck inside so you might have to just take off your nozzle real quick and clean out the tip. Not a big deal. Um, it doesn't happen that often. Uh, as you see right here, I've sprayed 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 baits without it getting clogged up yet. Um, so it doesn't happen too often but it does happen. But that's how I clean in between color changes. and when you're doing your baits you always want to work with your baits starting from your lightest color to your darkest color um obviously i did this one a little bit different because the gold was my uh, scale pattern so i had to spray gold first but mostly i would uh go from your light colors to your dark colors so that way the next color after your uh after you clean out your next color is darker than the previous color so it's not gonna uh, blend in it, it's gonna blend in it, it's not gonna mess up the next color is what I'm trying to say um, the only problem that you might have and you might have to clean it a lot better is you know once you're done with the bait and you're going back to a white base, base coat or something obviously you want that white base coat completely bright white you, you don't want a mixture of the previous color that you used on a bait that you just finished um, Usually what I do is at the at the end of the night, I like to spray out a whole bunch of, uh, I like to white coat a whole bunch of baits at once. Like, I just white coated uh, 20 baits yesterday, so I'm on 14 out of the 20 now. So that way I don't have to go back to white for quite a while. Unless I scratch something with an alligator clip, of course. Alright, back to painting. These baits are virtually done. All I have left to do is take my handy dandy circle and place circles on them, black circles, and then they're done. So, and as you see, this uh, plastic stuff that I was talking about, it's not really plastic, it's bendable. It's a 3M, uh, I don't even like sticky stuff. I, I, th I think the back peels off and you can stick this somewhere, um, but I kept the back on. So the paint comes off of it, obviously. Um, but anyway, yeah. On to uh, spraying the black. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use my Create Text Transparent Black. I'm not going to use the Calm Art because we, we know that that uh, brushes right off. I just put a whole bunch in here. Some reducer. I've noticed that if you don't use reducer, even with the transparent black, doesn't matter if it's the opaque or transparent black or the white. There's something about those colors that it just sprays grainy. Um, I guess it could be more than, I guess it could just be the brand and the thickness of it, obviously. Um, and as far as, you know, reducing, I do it right in my cup. I cut a Q-tip in half and I use that just to, to mix it in there, you know. Just get it mixed up real well. 
whatever test spray it. That looks pretty well. Alright, so I like these circles. If I can get this to turn to be more towards the back here. But I am gonna go on the halfway line. So let's see here. I think right about there is good. And I learned a trick the other day to mark this. So when I transfer it to the other side, I know where that uh, lateral line should run now, how it should look. Light coat, takes a couple. Keep it right on there. Another one. You know what? That's good. Two's good. And there's your first black dot. Should be good. Let's see how it looks. Looks good to me. Okay, so nope. Sign this bait, and this bait's done. What is up with this pen? I have to go buy a new one. There you go. And that is my lovely uh, purple and blue with a gold scale pattern bait. Uh, purple crush. There it is. I'm going to put the black dots on the other one and sign that one and get these ones hung up and ready to go with the other ones. Uh, Hope you guys like this pattern. If you have any advice for me or any questions or anything, leave in the comment section. Um, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for showing support. Uh, I'll be back with another pattern, guys. Take care.